Our first England game in charge. We're playing France in the UEFA League of Nations. The squad I've gone for is reliable, is the word I would use. So let's find out how we do, shall we? Okay, so as you know, we are playing France today. We need to start getting points on the board in the UEFA League of Nations straight away because France are expected to run away with this competition in our group. Okay, but what we are going to do first is go over the results for Derby County prior to the England game. Okay, so our first game was against Tottenham. We did lose this 1-0, so I am going to go over the key highlights of the game. So it's with Carrasco with the corner kick. Crosses it into Kane, but Kim clears it away. Pieto gives it back to Snezny. He pumps the ball back out and gives it straight to Dyer. He gives it to Green. He gives it to Michi. Can Mich what can Michi do with it? He shoots, but Lores saves it. Carrasco with the throw in. Gives it back to Eris Ericsson. Crosses it in. Son Hyun Ming is there, and that makes it 1 0 Tottenham Hotspur. Absolutely a gutting result. Can Derby County get back into this game? So it's Green. Gives it back to Kim. What can he do with it? Crosses it in. Mitchie's there, but it rebounds off Hugo Lloris. Unlucky. So it's L Lloris with another goal kick. Gives it to Onima. To Carrasco. To Ericsson. To Son Hung Min again. What can he do with it, if anything? To Danilo. To Onima. Back to Widmer. Crosses it in. Hughes is there. Ricardo Horta does get the pass to Michi. Michi through, all the way through. Cut beats one, but couldn't beat Hugo Lloris. Unlucky. And that is going to be the end of the game. I would say that we did dominate that match, but we were unlucky to lose against Tottenham Hotspur at home at Pride Park. So moving on, it was the game against Gillingham in the EFL Cup. I was playing a slightly rotated side here, but we did win it 3-0 and that was a great corner from Geraldes. He put, gives it to Kevin Brennan, the new signing. He puts it in the back of the net. It makes it 1-0 Derby County. Pepe to Kim. Kim gets tackled to Grant. What can Gillingham do here, if anything? Maddox to Healy. Snesny with the save. So Derby's second goal came from a free kick that got absolutely annihilated by Gillingham. Shokhev with the interception, or Brighton. Bombs down the wing with it. This was a fantastic goal. Grant. So it's Kim with the interception. Geraldes plays the ball forward to Michi, and Michi was never going to miss that long range shot. Absolutely fantastic goal by Michi Batshuayi to make it 2 0 Derby County. And our third goal, Geraldes crosses the ball into Green. Geraldes back to Garcia, bounces around in the box. Kim gets tackled but recovers. Kim crosses it in and Merrill is there to make it 3-0 Derby County and we are successfully through to the next round of the EFL Cup. Now our next match we did lose it 5-0 against Huddersfield. It was an absolutely shocking result, one that I am not proud of. And we're just going to go over Huddersfield's goals. So, Rigoni to Campos. And Barahino's there with the first of the five for Huddersfield. It was a poor goal in all. Keeper should have done better, but he did it. The second came from a corner. Campos heads it in. Unlucky. Again, there was nothing we could do about that. I did try and change things up, but then it was a penalty. Which Huddersfield put away very nicely. The fourth came from another corner kick. Rigoni is there again, but it makes it 4 0 just after 48 minutes in the second half. And the fifth goal, we were absolutely demoralised at this point. Rigoni, we tried to intercept it. Geraldes is there. He will lose the ball. Their goalkeeper plays it long. Lolly plays a long ball through to Campos and Campos puts it past Snesny, which makes it 5-0 Huddersfield Town and we were absolutely demolished in that game. Now for the squad that I have selected it's been a bit of a controversial one so I've gone for Jack Butland, Kyle Walker, John Stones, Eric Dyer, Luke Shaw, 
Jordan Henderson, Dele Alley, Jesse Lingard, Ben Woodburn, Rashford and Kane. And for the subs, I've gone for Joe Hart, Chilwell, The Ox, Danny Welbeck, Nathaniel Klein, Ross Barkley, Danny Ings, Michael Keane, Ward Prowse, Fraser Forster, Chris Smalling and Jack Wilshere. The reason I've gone with this squad is because I'm only just getting to know the England youth system again. And I've gone for players that I know personally, well not personally, but that I know of, who are decent enough, young enough to get a decent result against the French. As you can see, all of these are pretty highly rated. Haven't gone with anyone from Derby County. So I'm hopefully going into the game against France today with the formation that I've gone for. We can possibly come away with, with a draw or the win. So I'm just going to show you the formation that we are going to use. It is a kind of a 4-4-2. I've gone for Shaw, Dyer, Stones and Walker in the back. Stones as the ball play midfielder. Dyer as the defensive centre-back. Henderson and Ali as a ball winning midfielder and an advanced playmaker. Two wingers on attack. Kane as a false nine and Rashford as a complete forward. I've gone with a standard flexible approach. So hopefully we can go into this game at Wembley and get the goals we need to secure the victory. So I'm going to go straight into the game and see what we can do. Okay, so even though we are at home, the French are predicted to win this game. They are favourites. The pundits are saying there's not much difference between us. So it could be a draw. Now, if I know that we perform to the best of our ability, we'll walk out the winners today. So we'll go in straight into the game. Send the assistant. Don't want to do the press conferences. Let's have a look at the French team. See if there's anyone we know. Cardinal, Kurt Zuma, Umtiti, Laporte, Digne, Pogba, Tolisso, Dembele, Lamar, Anton Griezmann, and Anthony Martial up front. Kings of the Coman on the bench. Kante's on the bench. Mbappe's on the bench. Benzema's on the bench. Ay, 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 ay. Strong bench. We'll go into the game. We're going to go assertive. The fans something to cheer about. Passionate team talk. Let's see if we can get the victory. So, kickoff highlight. Is anything going to happen? Maybe not. From Titi to Dembele. Good tackle by Ali. Woodburn's going to chase that ball. Untit is there to clean up the mess. Throw into England. 20 seconds into the game. Okay, so it's a corner. Woodburn with the free kick. And Luke Shaw scores. Our first goal as England manager. Luke Shaw from a corner kick. Thank you very much. Corner kick from Ben Woodburn. Links up with Luke Shaw. And he first time volleys at home. 1-0 England. One minute into the game. Come on, England. Come on, England. Oh, come on, England. I'll never do that again, I promise. Okay, so France have a corner. Butlin collects it very easily. What can I do with it, if anything? Butlin hoofs it upfield. Deli Alley to Harry Kane. Harry Kane passes back to Eric Dyer. Lumps it forward to Ben Woodburn. Can he get it? He can. Crosses it in. Rashford was there. Thought he was going to bury that. Dyer, can we recycle it? No, we can't. Unlucky. Lamar with a free kick. Butlin with a very good collection again. Performing miracles in goal. What will he's going to do? He's going to pump it forward. Tries to get it to Ben Woodburn. Rashford gets tackled by Pogba. Griezmann. Stones with the interception. Gives it straight back to Griezmann though. Lamar to Martial. Martial to Dembele. Gets tackled by Luke Shaw. What a tackle. Kane. Tries to get it through to Rashford, but it gets it through to Woodburn instead. Woodburn tries to slip it through to Kane, but Untit is there to clean up the mess. But he gives it straight to Henderson. Henderson shoots, and Cardinal saves it. Action, pack, first half. Walker to Tolisso. Gives it to Martial. Back out to Anton Griezmann. Danger man. Martial's there. Martial hits the post wide. I thought he was going to score there. Cardinal with the goal kick. Hoofs it forward. Martial. Luke Shaw gets the ball. Gives it back to Ben Woodburn. On this left hand side. To Kane. Kane tries to get it through to Rashford. Couldn't get it there. Digne back to Cardinal. Hoofs it forward. Should be an England ball. Griezmann. Martial's beat our defence. And Butlin with a great save. I got a little bit worried there. France with the corner kick. Lamar. Whips it in. To Griezmann and Butlin with a great save again. Keeping us in this game at the moment. And that is half time. Fantastic first half performance from England there. I'm going to go with a calm approach. Let's give the fans something to cheer about. 
and gets to the usual passionate team talk that I usually do in games like this to fire the lads up and hopefully we can carry on and beat France in the second half to claim the victory in this game. Stones to Griezmann to Lamar. End of the kickoff highlight in the second half. 50 minutes gone. 65, 66 minutes gone. Going to make a substitution. I'm going to bring off Marcus Rashford and bring on Danny Welbeck. And I'm going to bring off Jesse Lingard and bring on Oxley chamberlain as well. So that's all the substitutions I am going to use for the time being. Harry Kane's picked up a gashed head though. Do I change it and bring Danny Ings on? Zuma, Butlin's there. Do I bring Danny Ings on for Harry Kane? What do I do? What do I do? Cardinal, Martial, Dyer. Gives it back out to Toliso, to Pogba. Shaw with the interception, to Deli Alley, to Woodburn. Causing all sorts of problems on that left wing. Kane to Henderson, to Welbeck. Welbeck tries to slip it through to Oxlade Chamberlain, couldn't get there. Henderson gives it straight to Toliso, though. Danger, Martial, to Dembele. Dembele hits it wide. It is not looking good for France. I'm going to leave Kane on until about the 80th minute. Laporte to Umtiti. To Toliso. Plays it back to Cardinal. Is he going to lump it forward? Are we going to be able to claim it in midfield? Deli Alley to Kane. To Dyer. To Toliso. To Pogba. Pogba to Cornet. Cornet's through. And that's it. France finally break our, break our defence. That's his first goal for France. Scores a level once again. 77 minutes in. Cornet, the substitute, playing the ball and slides it past Jack Butland, who's been having a stormer of a game. Okay, so 80 minutes have gone. I am going to bring off Harry Kane and I'm going to bring on Danny Ings. I'm going to swap them. I am going to swap them around. So Danny Ings is that complete forward and Welbeck has the false nine. I'm going to put Woodburn on as an inside forward on attack as well. Just to see if we can get the goal to break it and get the 2-1 win. So 90 minutes have played, 4 minutes of added time. France highlight. Laporte. To Henderson. Henderson slips it through to Ings. Ings has got the ball. Gives it to Welbeck. To Woodburn. Woodburn shoots. Woodburn scores. Get in. 2-1 England. Come on. Come on. Three Lions on the shirt. Beat the French at Wembley. Ings to Welbeck. To Woodburn. Woodburn is the inside forward. Slips it past the keeper. 2-1 England. Come on. Get in. We have beat the French at Wembley. 95 minutes gone. That's going to be the end of the game. Benzema is not going to get the ball. Deli Alley to Woodburn to Welbeck. That's it. Full time at Wembley. England 2. France 1. Get in there. Passionate. Well done. Absolutely fantastic performance. 14 shots, 7 on target, 45% possession. This 4-4-2 works, guys, he says after its first game. England topped the group. Our next game is against Italy. It is only a friendly. 60th cap for Harry Kane. And he is out for three days. Woodburn on form for England. The Manchester City wonder kid brought from Liverpool for, brought from Liverpool for £56 million. Pounds. Wow, what a sign-in. So, with regards to when we are going to come back, go into Derby, I'm going to come back for the... No, I'll come back for the Liverpool Man U games. So, it'd be the end of October, beginning of November. Come back for them and see what we can do in the league. Alright guys, thank you for watching the video. It means a lot to me. Leave a like on it if you enjoyed it. And make sure you smash that subscribe button. They're all over the place. Make sure you check out my other videos in the playlist below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in a bit.